comes at a cost, like a big cost. And like sometimes it will ne- never break me, but it, it takes real strength for it not to break you. And tonight, like there's a little crack in that, in that armor because I took a loss. And I think you just saw me just upset. And um, with the speech, I was just speaking about where I'd come from. Like, I was on the roads, like, really. And I made a transition in boxing and it really helped me change my life. You know, bring me closer to God, bring me closer to meeting so many amazing people. And um, I just kind of laid it all on the line with my speech. But listen, let's not forget about the champ Alexander Usyk who put on a phenomenal performance as well so credit to him I can't remember what I said in the ring because it was just so passionate but I just want to say thank you to him for taking part in a great historical fight as well it takes two to tango and um, yeah just I was just so upset Anthony you said to over here over here Yo. it's been a long journey with you and it's been an amazing journey right. I'm over here Anthony um, you said to Antoine at the press conference on Wednesday that the performance was imp- as important to you in a way as the outcome. Mm. Two things, are yeah. you happy with the performance? And do you, re- not necessarily the outcome, but are you happy with your performance this time? And do you not realize that at home, and this is all of us that have had messages from people at home, people were off their seats with respect, screaming uh. you on to knock Alexander Usyk out from the eighth round onwards. Yeah, um, I'm not, look, when you lose, you're not ultimately happy. It's just upsetting. I really wanted to win, and I wanted to win for Great Britain because I know how much they wanted me to fight Tyson Fury. So I wasn't just fighting for myself, I was fighting for like the whole nation. So I was just so upset. So I'm not so happy with the performance because I didn't win. Um, And I appreciate everyone who was watching at home you know, fighting, yeah, like, I'm a fighter, <laughs> I'm not a normal person, like, even though I try and, as you said, hold it together, to be a fighter is, like, a real different mindset and lifestyle that you have to embody, especially to try and be a good fighter, so, I just, uh, yeah, I just in war mode, but I appreciate everyone that support and watched at home and I really wanted to do it for them because I wanted to bring the belts back home and I really wanted to you know challenge for the undisputed two uh, of Britain's best but we move on to the next do you last time when you lost to Alexander one question at a time because I'll forget in the second one so oh, that's just one. no I mean like you're asking me two questions at once Go on. the respect thing so, for Alexander Usyk? No, re- respect. Do you feel you owed it back tonight? That oh, uh, no. Well, from who? Who am I trying to earn respect from? Your public. It's not my business what they think of me. I can't. I don't really... Uh, do you know what people should respect me for? When I meet them and how I greet them, shake hands, yes, please, no, thank you. That's why I say don't respect me just because of the fight and the belts. Because that isn't what makes a man or a woman. I think it's your character and like how you treat people. So that's how I want to earn the respect. And I've always tried to kind of keep my feet on the ground. I make mistakes. Sometimes I do things from the heart without thinking. But other than that, uh, I hope people can respect me for the man I'm trying to become. And the final thing, um, obviously you're incredibly disappointed in this moment, but Mm. how is that hunger still burning inside? I'm a fire for life. That hunger never dies. Fire for life. Thank you, Anthony. Respect. We've got one more here from Antoine Allen. This is a question to Eddie, uh, because I know Anthony would be too humble to ask this. When When you speak to other boxers, they speak about how Anthony literally existing in the sport has enabled them to buy houses, has enabled them to have the experience of being in the stadium like this and all around Britain. As someone who knows the business of Anthony Joshua's career, how has he impacted others in the sport and enabled them to have dream nights? We 
you know, from, from so many different layers, from grassroots for young children getting into the sport because of Anthony Joshua, from the great British boxing team, the Olympic setup, the funding that's gone into the next generations through his Olympic gold medal, from the commercial value that he's brought to the sport. We, we wouldn't be here today. None of us would be in this room without Anthony Joshua. I promise you, I wouldn't be, our business wouldn't be, my life wouldn't be what it was without Anthony Joshua. No boxers would be earning the kind of money in the UK if it wasn't for Anthony Joshua. He has taken the sport in terms of popularity, in terms of attraction from broadcasters, sponsors, to another level. And you're right, he's far too humble to say it. You've seen a lot of fighters and a lot of people from the industry come out with those kind of comments this week, which is nice to see. And he would never shout that from the rooftop. And if I said that to him, he'd laugh. But that is the, the complete reality. We weren't in stadiums, you know, every other fight before Anthony Joshua come along. We weren't Brits going around the world, you know, in, in Madison Square Garden, in Riyadh, in Jeddah. I mean, it's, it's been unbelievable. But the legacy should last well beyond, you know, and, and Gareth said the question, do you feel like the public respect you? You know, if the public don't respect him for what he's done, you might as well just give up. You can't keep people happy all the time. If you can be a good individual like he is, if you can set a good example, then that's all you can do. And, and honestly, the sport, you know, the sport globally wouldn't be where it was without AJ, but the sport in Britain would not be where it is today. And the fighters are benefiting because of the growth that AJ has injected into the sport. And the question to you, AJ, to answer my question before, I'm sure everybody's proud of you and there's lots of people at home who are proud of you as well. You spoke about being that boy from Watford who was on a completely different path and you've inspired so many people. So if you were to give a word of advice to anyone who's looking to change their life right now, what would it be? Mm, to change their life right now? Um, it's a hard question to answer. Well, I'd say... I don't know. Anyone that wants to change their life, I don't know. Do what you want, innit? It's your choice. You live your life how you think is best. And um, you'll, you'll like deal with the consequences of your decisions. Um, but if you do manage to do well, always try and give back. Because just don't take, take, take. Also give back where you can. I don't know. I don't know what I'd tell someone. I'd probably tell them, don't get into boxing. Mm -hmm. It's hard, very difficult, very, very difficult. But I don't know what I'd tell them. Just good luck with your life and just try and do well. And if you can do well, just make sure that you put your hand back to try and help bring people with you. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'd tell someone. If you, if you bust out the hood, <laughs> make sure you bring the man them and your family with you. Do you know what I'm saying? That's, that's it, really. Josh, you say about don't get into boxing, but we know the journey that you've been on. I know it firsthand. I've seen it from the beginning. Yeah, like now. we're at the same amateur club. Absolutely, the same amateur club. Yeah. We speak all the time. And listen, firstly, I want to salute you on an unbelievable performance. Your stock rose tonight, by the way, because you answered a lot of questions. Thank That's you, what you've done. So you, you, you was a victor tonight. You won tonight because there was a lot of people doubting, was the hunger still there? Can Anthony Joshua get down in the trenches? Can he dig deep when he has to? You answered that tonight, mate. You went there and you'd done it, you delivered. You met him, your game plan was perfect. Mm. Up until round nine, round 10, the fight was even. Usyk showed that champion's heart and he come out and he nicked the last couple of rounds in a very close fight. But your stock rose because you answered all the questions that people were doubting you about. Mm. Forget all that and you get, and you did. And Gareth was right in what he said. Yeah. You gained the respect of the people back. People at home were texting me saying, wow, he's shown the heart of a lion here. And that's what champions do. Mm. All I can say, Josh, is I can look forward to you getting back in the ring. You've still got a great career, a long career ahead of you because there's still Thank big you. fights out of you and you will become three-time yeah. heavyweight champion. I know it. I know it. I know I will. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Spence. Thank you very much for that. For your nice comments. I appreciate that.